Hi guys, so again we're on to lesson 3 now of the topic where we're introducing algebra, basic algebra skills. So here's a few directions for you to get started with. You just read through them for us now before we move on to the retrieval task. Okay, so we've got our pens and paper ready. Here's your retrieval task with your LO at the top. You can spend 7 minutes... Pause the video, working through these. Okay, so again, the pattern's still the same. We've got a question at the start where we were looking, we have to square root our 81, because we want to find out each side length of the square, which would be 9. We have to use our bus stop method here. <clears throat> so the 1,296 goes inside the bus stop, and the, what we're dividing it by the 4, the divisor, goes on the outside. <clears throat> so, mark these for us. Give yourself a score out of 6, and make a note of that. <clears throat> Moving on, so what we're going to be looking at today is we're looking at irregular shapes, so shapes where all the side lengths aren't the same, and they have algebraic expressions and in how long they are. So, first question, find, an, find and simplify an expression for the perimeter of each of these shapes. So what we've got to do is to find the perimeter, we pick a point and we walk around the shape, as we remember. So, as you can see, when we walk down the first side, we get 12. Then we walk down the next side, we get 7x. We walk down the next side, we get 3 plus 5x. We walk down the last side, back to our start, we get 5 plus 8x. So, I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to start to square off my x terms. Because it's just one really big addition isn't it really <clears throat> and then we also have just the number 12 the number positive 3 and the number 5 so adding my rectangles together I have 7x plus 5x which gives me 12x add 8x I get 20x and then I've dealt with all my rectangles now now I've just got to deal with my circle so I've got positive 12 positive 3 which is 15 and then positive 5, which is 20. So it's going to be 20x plus 20. Now these two terms here can't be collected together, so that is it in its simplest form. So can you pause the video now and try and do the same for the we do? Give yourselves a minute. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the 8m at the top. We've got the plus 3m here and plus 9m here. So let's deal with that first. So we've got 8 lots of m, plus 3 lots of m, which is 11 lots of m, plus 9 lots of m, so that gives us 20, positive 20 m. Now all we've got to do is we've got to add the numbers that are left. So we've got 12, uh, 13 add 3, which is 16. 16 add 4 gives us again 20. So that's in its simplest form. So give yourselves the mark if you got that right. Next of all, again, find and simplify an expression for the perimeter of each of these shapes. So, again, I'm going to start here, and imagine if I'm walking down this way, then I'm going to have to walk up this way, then down this way, then down here, back to the start. So, again, I'm going to collect my x's in a little rectangle. So, where am I going to put this? I'm going to try and squeeze it down here. So we've got 6x plus 9x, which gives me 15x. And then I'm going to add 5x, and that's going to give me 20 lots of x again. We're enjoying 20 lots of x for these problems. So now we're going to have to collect the numbers that are left. But remember to circle the symbol before the number as well. So these are all negative. So that's how these problems now have changed. We've got negative numbers. So we have negative 3, and we're going to 
add that to the negative 2. So it's going to go down on our number line to negative 5. We've then got another negative 5. So it's going to be negative 10. So there is our answer for that one. Now pause the video and give yourselves a minute to try and solve this we do. Okay, so again we've got 8m, positive 3m, positive 9m. And the reason we can dive straight in is because they've gave us a representation of every side. Oh, just notice something. Which number on this I do have I not circled yet? I haven't circled this one. So there's still a plus 30 to go. So negative 10 plus 30 is going to become, yeah, plus 20. So well done to anyone who noticed that as well. We're only human. So, again, I noticed that because I've noticed that they've given us all the sides. So I'm going to deal with my M's now back on the we do. So 8M plus 3M gives me 11m, 11m plus 9m would give me, so we have 11m plus 9m, just making a little note to one side just to make sure, so we got 20m, don't worry about making space for extra working guys, it really helps, so then we just got to add our numbers, so we've got negative 7m, positive 3, positive 4, and the positive 20 that I forgot last time. So we'll do these two first. So 20 take away 7 gives us 13. Add 3 gives us 16. Add 4 gives us 20. So there we go. An answer we recognise. So 20m plus 20 for that one. Give yourselves a mark if you got that right. So... Let's have a look at this next shape. So again, just pick a corner where you're going to start at. We're going to have to travel down here, down here, down here, down here, and back here to get to our start point to cover our entire perimeter. So we're going to have 9x, 1 lot of x, 6 lots of x, and 5 lots of x. So we've got 9 lots of x, add 1. So we've got these two here, so that will give us 10 lots of x. Then we've got down here, so we've got 16 lots of x. And we've got another 5, so we've got 21 lots of x. So now we've just got to do our numbers. So we've got negative 2 and negative 10. That gives us negative 12. Negative 12 plus this 30 would give us... 18. You can use a number line if you need. Then we've got 18 take away 3 will give us 15. Take away 5 will give us 10. So plus 10. And there's our answer. So as you can see, all of our variables with x have been put in a rectangle and all of our other numbers have been circled. So everything has been paired and put together with something. So now everything's been used, so we know that's our answer. So pause the video now and give yourselves 45 seconds trying to solve this next we do. Okay, so again, we've got eight lots of them, one lot of them, nine lots of them, and again, another positive three lots of them. So we've got 8m and 1m, which gives us 9m, 9m, and positive 9m gives us 18. 18 plus 3 gives us 21, lots of m. So now just our negative numbers, so now just our numbers. So we start with a negative 7, then we have negative 10. So that's negative 17, positive 20. So that's going to give us 3. Then we're going to have the 3 plus 4, which gives us 7. And added to another 3, so it's going to be positive 10 again. So give yourselves the mark if you got that right, guys. Okay, so now something a little bit different. So now we can see on these problems that we actually have. 
that we actually have some uh, some variables, some letters there to the power of something other than one. So we have some x squared terms and some y squared terms. So again, we're just going to do it the same way. So I'm just going to look to find anything that can match with my x's. So 6x, there's nothing over here, and there's nothing at the bottom because, because this hit that you can see here is x squared. So I'm going to double underline that. So now, is there any other x squared? There's no other x squared. So that's going to be the only thing single underlined. For my positive y, I'm going to give that a circle. Again, this here is negative y squared. So that can't pair up with the y because it doesn't have the same power as well. So the only thing that we're going to be collecting here, let's put it in like some sort of triangle. So the only thing that we're going to be collecting here is the, the numbers that are on their own is the the constants we call them because we don't change so we have so we have 6x plus y from my first set of terms then over here I'm gonna have the minus y squared then at the bottom I'm gonna have the plus 9x squared and then finally the only thing that I can pair is the 6 and the negative 6 which will cancel each other out so they will become zero. So what you do now is we'd sort of put the squared terms first, just just sort of for neatness really, and just to pair them up. So we'd have nine squared, nine x squared minus y squared. So we've used these two. Then we've got plus six x plus y. So the terms with a higher order, so the x squareds. I've written them first, then I've wrote the plus 6x plus y. So it's the exact same answer, I've just rearranged and put them, in a, put them in a different order. So if you can now pause the video and give yourselves give yourselves 45 seconds this time, trying to solve the we do. Okay, so again, my free m isn't going to pair with anything. So I'm just going to end up with a free m. My plus p, there's no other p's that aren't to the power 2. So that plus p is going to be on its own. Then we move to these terms. <clears throat> so my free is going to pair with something. So I'm going to circle that with the negative 6. For my p squared, so minus p squared, that's not going to match with anything. It's not going to simplify. And my 3m squared isn't going to simplify. So the only thing we need to simplify is this plus 3, negative 6. So if we start at 3 and we're subtracting 6, so we're moving down 6 places, so we're going to end up at negative 3. And again, you could rearrange this to put these terms first, but that is your answer, as simplified as it's going to get. <clears throat> Just two more to go. Yes. So again, we've got a rectangle. So from the properties of a rectangle, we want to simplify and find the full perimeter. So if I start here, I walk up here, along here, down here, and then back to the start. We've only been given this side here and this side here. How are we going to find out this and this. Well, we know from our properties of a rectangle that if this side here is 6x plus y, then this one must also be 6x plus y. So I would start by labeling them. And by the same logic, if this side here is 6 plus y, this top one is also going to be 6 plus y. So now again, same again, we're going to have 6x. We've not got an x up here, we've got an x here. So we can go right, so my 6x and my 6x are going to give me 12x. Then I can look to my y's, so my plus y, my plus y, my plus y, oops. See, this is how it gets complicated when you don't follow the same shapes. So that's going to be plus y, plus y, I'm going to put it in a circle. Plus y, and plus y. 
So we've got one lot of y, two lots of y, three lots of y, four lots of y, plus four lots of y. And then finally, what's left for us to do is this double underline. So we've got a six here and we've got just a six here. So them two added together are going to give us 12. And there is your answer. So can you pause the video now and try and do the same? Give yourselves 45 seconds again to try and solve this fifth we do. So if we have a look now, so again, through the properties of rectangles, we know this side here is going to be 3m plus p, and we know this top side is going to be 3 plus p. So our m here is going to link up with this 3m. They're like terms, so we're going to get 6m. And then with our positive p, we've got positive p there, positive p there, positive p there, and a positive p there, so that's plus 4 P. And then the only thing that we've got left is this 3 and this constant 3. So that's just going to give us plus 6. And as you can see, we've used all the terms, so there is our answer. Give yourselves the mark if you got that one correct. So one more to do now, guys. So again, very similar, except now we have these powers introduced. So if this side here is x cubed or x to the power of 3 plus y, then the same for the other side is going to be x cubed to the power of y. And same again, the top must also be 6 plus y if the bottom is 6 plus y. So let's collect our x cubed or x to the power of 3 terms. We've got two of them. So it's going to be 2x cubed. And we're finding the perimeter again, so let's have a look now at, we've got plus y, so I've got a plus y here, I've got a plus y here, I've got a plus y here. So that's going to be positive for y. And then what have we got left to deal with? It's just, we've got a constant term of 6 here and a constant term of 6 here. So if we do 6 added to 6 we're going to get 12 and we have a quick check around everything's either underlined or circled or squared so we've, we've used everything in our big addition to calculate the perimeter so pause the video now and give yourselves again 45 seconds see if you can do it quicker but make sure you are very careful in using all the terms so 45 seconds to solve this we do <laughs> Okay, so again, this side must be m to the 4 plus p, and the top side must be 3 plus p, because rectangles are pairs of sides. So we've got m to the power of 4, m to the power of 4, and no other like terms. So we've just got 2m to the power of 4. Next, I'm going to circle my p's. Remember to keep the symbol before it. So we've just got plus 4p. And then the only thing left for us to do is I'm going to do the double underline for the constant term. So we've got a positive 3 added to a positive 3. So that's going to give us 6. So again, give yourselves a mark if you got that one right. Really well done if you have, guys. So now a chance for you to do some for yourself. So here we go. So... Form and simplify an expression to represent the perimeter of each of these polygons. So give yourselves seven minutes working through these guys. Pause the video, away you go. Okay, now bear in mind, make sure your answers are very visible and you know where they are. Here is the next set of problems.
pause the video and give yourselves four minutes on these. We will get to the answers soon enough, guys, and I'm making you wait for this one. Patience is a virtue. I've also got a So here are your answers. The first two here, which is quite tough to see. We have this here is A. This here is B. I hope you can see all of them. So mark those for us and make sure you make a note of how many you've got out of out of 12. Oh, here is a GCSE question now. Uh, so again, you want to write down in terms of X an expression for the perimeter of the triangle. So exactly what we've just been doing. The only difference here is we have this expression here. So this means that we have 3 times by everything inside the bracket, so x minus 3. So we have to times the 3 by the x, which will give us 3 lots of x. And we also have to do 3 times by negative 3. So that would be negative 9. So this here is equal to 3x minus 9. Pause the video and give yourselves a minute to see if you can come up with the answer to this GCSE question. Okay, so same as before, we've got three lots of x, two lots of x, and four lots of x. So three lots of x plus two lots of x gives us five lots. Five plus four gives us nine lots of x. Next, what we have to do is we have to account for the constants. So we've got negative 9, positive 5, and negative 1. Remember the symbols before them are important. So negative 9, so we're starting on our number line below 0, and we're moving 5 steps up, so we'll get to negative 4. We're at negative 4, and we're subtracting 1, so we're moving down. So that's going to be negative 5. And we're told as well, that our lamps are given in centimetres. So essentially, once we find out what x is and we put in our x value, we could find out what the perimeter of this is in centimetres. Well done if you got that right, guys. And again, great work today, guys. Remember to send your work through to your teachers if you're really proud of it as well. To prove that you've done the work and you followed along, but also so that your teachers can see how you're doing. And also if you're really proud of it so it can get passed on to uh, the head of maths or maybe form tutors or whoever else would be really, really happy and proud to see it. So again, now's a good time to think back on what you understood. What did you struggle with? And how will you improve on this? Did you struggle with remembering what perimeter was? Were you confusing it with area? Could you go to Hegarty and sort of self-remind yourself and uh, self-teach yourself that again? So well done, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.